of the mighty Navajo Nation who's joining us today. Hello, we got in Kilini, the Lefore, the Nebulan Tas, <laughs> or to ye Kachi, ye and Sedo, not so the Bassas <laughs> Chi, or to the Chi, ye that's a check. I hope all the Nench Sedo, but the Nashi, a set snobby with the Joe, Jasmine Blackwater, Nigel, a Hestrisney long, was a she, yes, she don't know that Kachi, the Bachi, or the Tati, the Nella, Ehoto, Stan, Nedo, Madon, the Ehoto, a Kahan, Kilini, Lazi, Yego, and Hade Shako. Again, I'm honored to be here, honored and humbled to be here to say a few words to talk about the strength and the resiliency of all of our people, all of our ancestors, and all, all of our leaders who are here today and the people that they represent. So thank you so much. I want to say thank you to our esteemed leaders, our respected elders, our honored guests, the NCAI board members and staff, and to our beloved members of all of our great nations across this great country. It's an honor to be here on the 80th annual of the National American Indian Congress of American Indians. So, yeah, though, Dave. And one of the main things I wanted to talk about briefly was just kind of how strong our country is. Our story is a one of unity and perseverance and testimony to our shared spirit and survival and determination. Despite the many challenges we have faced and continue to face, we have risen time and time again with unwavering resolve that is a testament to our collective strengths as Indian people. Our unity is not just our heritage, it is our power. It is the unity that empowers us to advocate for our rights to ensure that our voices are heard and the work towards a common goal of strengthening Native American people and our communities is our one goal that we all have. But we always must remember that our treaty rights are not just mere historical footnotes, but living and breathing agreements that secure our sovereignty and our rights and our future. They are the bedrock upon which our nation stands, the foundation of our relationships with the federal government and a testament to our enduring resilience. Let us ensure that these treaties continue to be respected and let us work tirelessly to safeguard our tribal sovereignty. This is not a task that we should do alone, but one that we must all undertake together. Our strength lies in our unity and our shared commitment to this cause. Together we can ensure that our sovereign rights are recognized and respected by all. We are grateful to our federal partners who have joined us today your presence signifies our willingness, your willingness to listen, to learn, and to work with us. This is a testament to the power and collective action of the strength of unity. By working together, we can bring about the change we seek, the recognition we deserve, and the future we envision. Nothing is perfect. The road to progress can be steep, the path to justice long, but without unity or collaboration, without determination, change will not make its way. It is when our voices are strong, our leaders are determined, that we make strides towards our common goals of making Indian country the way it used to be. I wish to express my sincere thanks to all of our tribal leaders here today that advocate day in, day out for our people and our communities all across Native America. Your courage, your dedication, and your unwavering belief in our shared future are the driving forces behind the changes that we seek. Together, we will build a stronger tomorrow for our children and their children to be proud of. In closing, let us remember that the path we tread was paved by the sacrifices of our ancestors, and it is our responsibility to ensure that it leads to a better future. Our journey together is not just about today, but about the many tomorrows that await our children, our grandchildren, and the generations yet to be born. Thank you. And let's continue to stand together, united in purpose, and committed to our cause, and steadfast in a journey towards a future where we continue to build strong Indian country. Thank you, and may God bless all of Indian country. Yeah.